By creating gradient fills, I can make the colours and the shapes in my Office 2007 SmartArt graphics fade from one colour to another colour, or fade between different shades of the same colour. When I select gradient fill, my shape is automatically given a default gradient. Office has a selection of default gradients that I can choose with the preset colours option. Some default options have a single colour, and some have multiple colours, and I can create my own custom gradients too. Either way, I can use the type, direction and angle options to change the properties of my gradient. I think I'll make this colour gradient start in the centre of my shape and radiate outwards. Gradients work by using a series of points called gradient stops, positioned along the path that I've defined for my gradient with the type, direction and angle options. Each gradient stop has its own colour, and Office blends the shape's colour from each gradient stop to the next. I can move the gradient stops individually, and choose what colour I want each one to be. In this gradient fill, all the gradient stops are different shades of the same colour, which is why the gradient fill itself changes from light brown to dark brown. It's also possible to create gradient fills in more than one colour to create a rainbow effect. This gradient fill has four gradient stops. By choosing different colours for each gradient stop, I can make the gradient fade from dark red, then to red and orange, and finally all the way through to yellow. It's also possible to add more gradient stops. The more stops there are, the more smooth and intricate the gradient can be. Here I'll move stop 1 in just a little, and add a fifth stop in black at the 0% position. With a little care and creativity, there's no limit to the kind of effects you can create with gradient fills. Have fun!